Hey guys, it's David Henry again. We're gonna do that 22 arc build. So we got a proof research barrel, you might have saw the thumbnail. We got a Palmetto State Armory upper. Uh, we got a Geisley rail. We're gonna put this together with supportive arm gas block. All the goodies, we're gonna make it rock and roll for you. We're using an inline fabrication mount. Sorry about the lighting, we are outside. My shop's not quite built yet, or built out where I can get all my tools out. So I have this board set up with an inline fabrication mount. And I'm using the Real Avid Vice. The Real Avid Vice has been a good one for me. It's allowing me to use it for precision rifle stuff, AR stuff, and we're going to use it for this AR upper right now. I don't know if you've seen these mounts before, but they got a little thumb screws that hold the front down, and then the dovetail here locks into the back side of that plate. It makes it really nice and easy. I put all my presses on here, my barrel vices, and then of course this vice here. So we're going to go ahead and tie this one down and uh, get going with this upper. All I gotta do is get those thumb screws snug so the vise can't move around. And if you haven't seen the real Avid vise, this thing is pretty cool vise. We can move it in all directions, move it wherever we need to. But today we're gonna run this thing. We can run it vertical if we want to. We can run it straight up. And you can lock it into positions too if you want on each axis. And then go ahead and lock that down and then it's nice and solid. We're gonna pull these pins and use the pull these blocks off of here real quick. And we're gonna use this AR-15 block. The cool thing about this vise, the way it works. It locks up there and then pushes through some indexing pins and then you just tighten it down. It locks it in so it can hold all the torque you need to and all we got to do is tighten up this vise and now it's locked in. It can't turn which is kind of cool. I went ahead and screwed this nut on here but I'll show you real quick. You know this is the 16 inch proof research 22 arc 1 and 7 twist. One of the great things about the Geisley rail is that long barrel nut distributes the weight over that big pressure. And this is a snug fit. I put a little lube on the threads and on the barrel, and you can see it's in there pretty good. It is a press fit. Not quite thermal fit, but it's pretty dang close. I think uh, proof might oversize their extension just a little bit. Go ahead and lock this in. Those are just going to lock into the, re or the, the bolt lugs of the receiver so we can just slide that in and we can put it in any position we want and then there's a little lock block right there we stick into position at that point we can go ahead and tighten or torque this barrel down you do have to have the Geisley uh, barrel nut wrench if you order the rail without that make sure you order that because um, you're going to need it we're going to set this to 45 foot-pounds. I've found out that that's been kind of the best for me. Your guys' uh, results might vary, but 45 has been good for me. Once you get it tight, you can back it off if you want. A couple times and just re-tighten it to make sure it's seated square. This torque wrench is only one way, so we're going to go to the other side. Once we get that torqued up, we can go ahead and move on, putting our, uh, our gas tube on. Go ahead and put our gas block gas tube, and then we can take and stick this thing, the handguard on it. I'm going to grab the gas tube real quick. That's Splitterative Arms adjustable gas tube, and then we'll go on with the rest of this install. All right, I just put the CMC gas tube rifle length gas tube on the Splurvative Arms adjustable gas block. It is the two screwed one, the barrel is dimpled, so we're gonna go ahead and line that up. I like to just slide it in there and make sure the gas tube lines up first. 
slide that in, run it into the port. And this is a nice solid fit, very stout. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off just a hair. We might need to tap on that just a little bit. You might use a soft mallet or something like that. It feels like it's just a little on the snug side. So we're gonna back these screws off a little bit. Make sure that's not catching. Uh, looks like it was just a hair. We're going to slip that on there. Once it's on there, we align the gas tube up into the upper receiver. We can rotate this around and go ahead and put our block back in there and that'll hold it in that position. So if we pull that out just a little bit, you'll notice the front one is the one that's dimpled. So what I like to do is just slowly go in, rock that back and forth until you make sure it finds that dimple. Once it's found there, then to go ahead and tighten the other one. You can put a little red Loctite on here if you like. But we're going to go ahead and snug these up. Once we got those tight, we can go about setting our handguard on there. I'm going to grab the handguard. We'll be right back. Now we're going to get that uh, Geisley Mark 8 rail on there. Man, it's got some big anti-rotational tabs on it. It's a really snug fit. Got the big barrel nut reduce pressure or deviation when we're putting pressure on the outside of this on barricades and stuff. Uh, we're going to slip it on there real quick, tighten it up, and go from there. So I like to go on there nice and easy. This is a snug fit over this barrel nut, so just work it on nice and easy. Once it gets all the way against the receiver, <coughs> we can put our two cross bolts in, but we don't want to get them tight. I just want to start them. Once we get those things started through the threads, what we'll do is we'll make sure the cant's right with these anti-rotational tabs. They have some screws on them that'll go in against the upper receiver. I just like putting these in hand tight so it can shift back and forth, but it's not uh, just so we can line up that upper rail to make sure it's perfect, okay? Once we get these in there, just securing it on there. Let's go ahead and rotate this up. Stick that block back in, it holds it in place. And at this point, we can tighten up these two little Allens here to make sure that it's square with that upper receiver. And right now, it's pretty good. We're a little far on this side, so I'm going to tighten up the opposite side. We're just going to adjust that screw in, that take up screw, until it comes in contact, and then put a little pressure, and you'll watch that rail walk over until it starts lining up. going to do this one a little bit. And as that locks, locks, lines up, we're just going to lock those down nice and smooth. Now it's lined up perfectly, so there's no deviation, no gap here between the upper and the rail. Uh, it looks really good there as far as fit. Now we need to torque down our bolts, cross bolts, so we can tie this around so we can get to the cross bolts. And it says eight foot pounds. We're gonna go ahead and set that to 64 inch pounds because we have an inch pound torque wrench and go from there. It should be tight enough for what we're doing. We're gonna pull you in closer just so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. We are going to use our fix-it sticks here. Okay, find the proper Allen. We're going to go ahead and get our 65 inch torque limiter. Put it in our T-handle here and go ahead and tighten these up. I like to get them close and then go to the next one. Tighten them up a little bit at a time. until we get that, entire, uh, get that torque we're looking for. Just go back and forth one more time just to make sure everything's good. Then we're good to go. There we got a Superlative Arms gas block, Geisley rail, onto this Palmetto State Armory upper. It was a really snug fit, not a thermal fit, but pretty close. Uh, got it all assembled. We're ready to move on from there. All right. 
we got the barrel, the rail, the upper all put together. We're going to slip it off that lock, and there it is. Looks pretty good. All we got to do is put our charging handle in, our bolt carrier group, and we'll go from there. We'll just set that there to hold it for a second. For the charging handle, I love these Geisley charging handles. They've always been good for me, and they're that DD or Dark Earth uh, anodizing. So we'll go ahead and slip that in there. Then this upper, we're going to try an Odin Works 6.5 Creedmoor or 6.5 Grendel uh, arc bolt carrier. Um, so we're going to slide that in there. We're going to see how that does. If it works for us, we're going to rock and roll with the Odin Works. If it doesn't, we might switch it over to the JP just because I know how those things fit up and lock up with these proof barrels. But there you are 22 arc. Upper receiver assembled, ready to rock and roll. I love the QD, steel QD inserts on this Mark 8. I like the shape of it where you can rest your thumb. If you're going on a barricade or something, you can really grab a purchase up there and push down. Um, I think it's going to be a great rail. I'll probably add an arc rail on the bottom so we can hook it up to our tripods or bipods and kind of go from there. Let's see how it looks on that upper we assembled the other day. All right, we got that 22 arc upper complete. We're going to get a muzzle device for it. Have a little surprise for that. Uh, I'll let you check it out uh, probably next week, but we'll go from there. We got that new ADM lower we put together with the Timney two stage competition trigger, Magpul K2 grip. We got the new DTPR, so the dual tension PR stock from Magpul. I like the lockup. We used our JP buffer tube. And of course, silent capture spring. So we're going to slip that in there, then we'll slip this baby together. So silent capture spring in there. We'll set this upper together real quick. Let you see how it looks. See what you think. And there it is. Geisley rail, Geisley charging handle. Go ahead and went with the Odin Works bolt carrier on this one. We're going to see how it works. Radian Raptor char uh, safety, man, can't wait to get an optic on it, get a muzzle device, maybe a suppressor, see what kind of velocities, kind of accuracies we can get out of this little proof research build, 16 inch. What do you guys think? Leave something in the comments and we'll go from there. Man, I'm liking it. That ambi bolt hold open and release on that ADM upper is really nice, or lower is really nice. Um, Man, the Splurvative Arms gas block looks good in there, and it's close enough. We can easily adjust it when we go to adjust that gas block setting. Super nice. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm thinking about getting some 85.5 grain burgers to run through this. I've always had good luck with those with some of my other Precision 22 cal builds. Um, it would be awesome in this 22 arc. Uh, we'll go from there, but thanks a lot for tuning in. Stay tuned for more builds and let's see how this one works.